Okay, good morning everyone. Welcome to our online class. My name is Teacher Marco and today we have Teacher M. Hello Teacher M, good morning. Morning. Good morning students. So um today we are going to answer your book and so please get your English book and open to page 41. English book page 41. Marble. Yes, book, the book, small book. book. The small book. Before we answer your book, let's have a recap or let's review our last topic, which is the difference between can and can't. So we already know that can is used when we are asked uh, when we when we are able to do such thing, on the other hand, as the opposite of it. So there are things that we can and we cannot do. So, mm -hmm. for example, so, okay. so, for example, so in our school, there are things that we, there are things, or there's, there's a lot of things that we can and we cannot or can't. So, for example, Teacher Marco, teacher Marco can dance, but I can't sing. Again, I can dance, but I can't sing. So the difference between them is that I, teacher Marco can dance and uh, I can able that. Uh, there are things that I can able or able do and there are things, there are a lot of things that I cannot do. So there is no perfect. So there, we have a lot of imperfections in life. So wait, there's someone joining our live today. Mm -hmm. Okay. So like as I said um, yesterday, um, can is he um, is a very strong word because it it describes or it labels the things that we can do. And the, on the other hand, there are things that we can't do. So for today's lesson, we are going to answer your book and get your small book, English small book, and open to page 40. What, teacher M? Okay. So for the first activity, we are going to fill in the missing letters to make the words correct, or we're just going to fill in the blank. So we have, we have, uh, we have verbs here. So the number one is jump. So J U M P jump. So the number two word is what? Read, read. So what do you think is the missing letter? Anyone from the class? What is the missing letter? R blank A D. Read. What is the missing letter? Hmm? What do you think is the missing letter? Number two. Well, also. Mm -hmm. A B C D E F G. What? <laughs> R blank A D. Right. What is the missing letter? What do you think is the missing letter? Huh? A E I O U so the answer is what? A E I O U. Hey, slide. Kong Tishia, come here. Come on. 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 Come D R blank W. So it is draw. Draw. What is draw in? Ah, ah. Draw. 
What? Teacher, draw. D R A W. What is the missing letter? A E D I O U. Draw. A E I or U. Am I correct? A E I O U. What is the missing letter? Oh. Huh? O. Oh. No, that's not letter O. A. Very good. The missing letter is letter A. Very good, Baimon. Draw. Next, we have number four. W, R, blank, T, black. So we have two missing letters. So what do you think are the missing letters? Between A, E, I, O, U. What is the answer? Or what are the answers? Hmm? We have W, R, blank, T, blank. So this I I E very good. So the answers are A, letters I and E. So we have now the verb right. Right. Very good. Next, let's have number five. We have P, blank, I, and T. This is one of my, my, uh, this is one of the things I want to do. It is paint. Very good. It is paint. What is the missing letter? What is the missing letter, my mom? Very good. The missing letter is letter A, paint. Paint. P-A-I-N-T, paint. I want to paint. Very good. Let's have number six. Uh, this is my favorite thing. Dance. D, blank, and C, E. Dance. What are the missing letters? A, E. Very good, my mom. <laughs> so it's letter A, letters A and E. Dance. Who among you loves to dance? Namo. Can I show up dance? Can I show up dance? Right? Namo. Namo. And now win. No, la. <laughs> Bright. Bright. Loves to dance, right? <laughs> Kinkel. Kinkel really loves to dance. Okay, let's have number. What number are we of? Let's, it's number seven. This is one of my favorite things today. And I think I am really good at it. So we have letters C, blank, O, K. So cook. Cook. What is the missing letter? Namo, what is the missing letter? O. Very good. The missing letter is letter O. Cook. Cook. Teacher M, do you cook your food or do you prepare your food? Yes. Yes, yeah. I love to cook. I mean, all of us here loves to cook. Teacher MJ, Teacher Jess. Yeah. And Teacher Joshua, of course. And Teacher Marian. Okay, last number we have number eight. Sweet. We have letters S, W, black, M. What is the missing letter? I. Letter? Very good. I. Oh, very good number. Letter I. So we have sweet. Next, we have... Okay. So the number one is jump, number two, read, number three, draw, number four, write, number five, paint, number six, dance, number seven, cook, number eight, swing. Copy the answers. One minute. Finish? Finish? Yes or no? Okay, everyone. Yes. I think everyone is finished. So let's go to activity number two. So all we have to do is to circle the correct picture or the correct picture. So I have here one, two, three, four, five. And um, we're going to circle the correct picture. So the number one is paint. Therefore, uh, we encircle already the boy that is, is painting. So the number two, so we have swim. So what do you think is the answer? Swim. 
the first picture or the number two picture? Swim. Number one or number two? It is actually number the first picture. So in circle, the first, the first picture. Okay, swim. Finish? Yes. Great. So let's proceed to number three. So I have here the word sing, S-I-N-G, sing. So what is the answer? The first or the second picture? Sing. Mm -hmm. Namo. Namgangan, what is the answer? The first or the second picture? Sing. You know what, students? Sing. Um, what number? The first or the second one? Kel. First or second? What is the right answer or the correct answer? First or second picture? You choose between one or two. Anyone from the class? Right, what is the answer? Number one or number two? Sing. Look at the picture. Number the answer two. is number two. Very good. Number two. Great. Okay, let's proceed to number four. Read. Read. This is your favorite thing to do in my class. Read. R E A D. Uh, what is the answer? First or second picture? Answer, teacher Marco. First or second picture? Huh? Yay, yeah, Mai. What is the answer? The first or the second picture? Read. Look at the picture in your book. Huh? Read. Um. Okay, so the answer is the first picture. Okay, next we have cook. Number, in number five, cook. The first or the second picture? One. Number one. Very good, Aim. Ay, by Mon. Very good, by Mon. Okay, next. The last number we have. Right. Now, Win, what is the answer? Number, uh, the first or the second picture? Right. Right. Huh? First or the second? Number one or number two? Now, Win. Oh. Now, Win. Number two. Number two, two. Lang. Number, the answer is number one. one. Very one. good. One. Very good. So, one minute. Copy the answers. Finish? Yes. Yes. Very good. Let's proceed to page. Oh, it's still 41. So, the number three activity. So we're going to circle the correct word. So I have your eight sentences and we are going to encircle the right verb or the correct the right or the correct word. So between two words. So the first one is already um correct. So I can sit in a chair. So number two, we have she can jump read a book so we have the the word book here so what is the correct verb for it jump or read she can jump read a book what is the answer or the correct word for the book read, read. or very good read. read okay the answer is read so now we have she can read a book who among you can read a book Loves to read a book. No one? Loves to read the book. Tankar. Tankar loves to read the book. Okay, next we have number three. He can cook 
write ABCs. He can cook, write ABCs. What is the answer? Cook or write? Uh, Why? Right. Very good, Nama. The answer is right. So all of you can write ABCs. Very good. Okay, number four we have. Uh, let's read number four. Uh, let's read number four. One, two, three. She. She. Can. Can. Draw. Draw. Swim. 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 A monkey. A monkey. Okay, we have she can. She can draw, swim, a monkey. Okay, what is the answer? Draw yeah. or swim? Very good. Yeah. The answer is draw. Very yeah. good. She can draw a monkey. Okay, so who do you think is the monkey in the class? Who's the monkey in the class? Who's the monkey? <laughs> we have a lot of monkeys in the class. <laughs> Number five. He can dance seat to music. He can dance seat to music. Uh, what is the answer? Dance or seat? Huh? He can dance or uh, seat to music. What is the answer? Very good. The answer is dance. Huh. Very good, students. Uh, let's have number six. Let's read number six. I'll repeat after me. I can. I can cook my food. Very good. The answer is I can cook my food. Very good, Tantau. I can cook my food. Let's have number seven. The children can paint, sing songs. A between paint and sing. Huh? Sing. Okay, sing. Okay, uh, here with number eight, you will be choose between the word or the verbs act and swim. So it's about it's depend on you. So what do you think or what where do you think you are good at? Act or swim? She can act or swim. So the answer depends on you. So you can encircle whatever you want. So she can act or swim. So where do you think you are good at? Huh? Swim. Oh, swim. You're in circle swim. If you're good at swimming or if you can swim, in circle swim. Then if you can act or you love acting, you can in circle or you can circle act. 41. 41. Let me look. <laughs> okay, so that there you have it. So that is uh, number three activity we have. Um, she can read a book. He can write ABCs. She can draw a monkey. He can dance to music. I can cook my food. The children can sing songs. And last but not least. The least or the number eight is she can act or swim. So you can encircle anything you want in number eight. Okay, I'll give you one minute. Okay, finish? Yeah. Okay. So here we have the, we have page 44. Open your book to page 44. So, so the same thing, we are still in can or ability. So always remember we use can when we are able to do such thing. So that is abilities or the verb. So we have here one, two, three, four, five, six numbers or that we're going to answer. So then the number one is already answered. So they can draw. So we will define or we are just going to describe the, the picture. So what are they doing? So what they are what they are doing? So let's have number two. So we have here one, two, three, four students. 
So, what do you think are they doing? They are what? They are they can what? They can sing. Very good. They are singing. So, the answer is they can sing. Okay. So, the answer for number two is they can sing. Tisha, what page? 43. 40, 42. We are in 42. 42. Yes. 42. Okay. So, let's have number... Let's have number three. So, what do you think she is doing? She is what? Huh? Swim. Very good. She can swim. Who among you loves to swim? Or you can, who among you can swim? Who can swim? Oh, uh, Yaimai la. You can swim, Yaimai. Yes, I saw I saw Yaimai swimming last time. How about man? Can you swim or do you like to swim? Han. Hmm? Yes or no? <laughs> no, la. No. Teacher M, how about you? No. Okay, let's have number. Four. So what do you think are they doing? Number four, we have boy and girl here. So they are like doing a thing, like they are shaking their hips and they are moving. Huh? They can dance. Very good, very good. They can dance. So that's my favorite thing to do. And I think I am good at it. That's it. Okay, they can dance. Okay, can you show Teacher Marco how you're dancing? Okay, shake your... Uh, shake, shake, shake. Shake, shake, shake. <laughs> I think Namo and P loves to dance and they are good at it. How about you, Teacher M? Do you like to dance? No? <laughs> okay, so... Let's have, Namo, where's your book? Okay, so now let's have number five. Okay, so what do you think is the answer? So between we have, they can paint or they can cook. For number five, the answer is, they can what? They can paint. They can paint. Very good. They can paint. And for number six, so we only have one choice. Uh, we have only have one. And the answer for it is they can cook. Okay, let's read them all. So let's have number one. Repeat after me. They can draw. The one, two, three, go. They can draw. Okay, number one. They can draw. They can draw. Very good. Number two. They can sing. They can sing. Number three. She can swim. She can swim. Number four. They can dance. And number five, they can paint. They can paint. Okay, for number six, they can cook. They can cook. Okay, very good, students. So now I'll give you one minute, one minute, and copy the answers. Okay, timer starts now. Tick tock, tick tock. No. Okay. I think Namo is finished. And Tonka, are you finished, Namo? 
Okay, raise your hand if you're finished. Okay. Aim, yay, my bright pen. Bye, Mon. Okay, so there are the ones are finished. Oh, what happened? So now we have activity number two. So write the missing word. Oh, 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 oh. okay. Okay, let's have page 42 also. Uh, still, we are in page 42. So, write the missing words. So, I think uh, the answers for them is between 10 and 10. So, we're just going to choose between 10 or 10. So let's have number one. They can fix the car. Yeah. Okay. Mm. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay, let's have number two. The doctor blank helps sick people. The doctor blank helps sick people. What do you think is the answer? Can or can't? Can or can't? The doctor blank helps sick people. <laughs> Can. can very good. The answer is can. Page forty-two. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Yes. 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 ตอนเค้าก็ได้ครับโอเคท่านก้าวโอเคท่านก้าวโอเคท่านก้าวโอเคท่านก้าวโอเคท่านก้าวโอเคท่านก้าวโอเคท่านก้าวโอเคท่าน
มี2คําตอบนะคะเด็กๆไม่สามารถทําอะไรได้ใส่ลงไป2คําตอบในข้อที่3ส่วนข้อที่4 n u m b e r 4 without my mother and father I can't ถ้าไม่มีคุณพ่อกับคุณแม่เด็กๆไม่สามารถทําอะไรได้เติมลงไปเพราะฉะนั้นงานของเราคือหัวข้อที่สามหน้าสี่สิบสองนะคะโอเคไหมโอเค so that is your assignment page forty two activity number three write sentences about yourself so you're just basically you're just going to put some words or verb that best describes your ability or the things you can or you can't do so There you have it. So I hope you learned something from today's discussion. This has been Teacher Marco saying, "Have a great day and don't forget to smile. Always wash your hands and drink a lot of water. Wear your mask." Thank you, students. Teacher M. Okay. Bye, Teacher. Okay. Are you saying bye bye?